magnets. Magnet was discovered by a shepherd boy, Manganus, in the town of Magnesia in Greece. Magnetite, Fe3O4, is the world's first magnet, which is also called natural magnet. It has two important properties. 1. It attracts small pieces of iron towards itself. This is called attractive force. 2. If it is suspended freely, it always points in the north-south direction. This property is called directive property. A material which occurs naturally and has magnetic properties is called natural magnet. Magnetite, an ore of iron, is the only natural magnet known. A substance to which properties of natural magnet are imparted by artificial means is called artificial magnet. Artificial magnets are preferred over natural magnets because 1. They can be made very powerful, which is not possible in the case of natural magnets. 2. They can be given desired shape and size. The magnets which lose their magnetism as soon as the cause producing them is removed are called temporary magnets. Examples of temporary magnets are electromagnets and the magnets made from soft iron. The magnets which do not lose their magnetic properties, even when the cause producing them is removed, are called permanent magnets. The magnets made from steel are permanent magnets. The substances which are strongly attracted by magnet or can be converted into magnet artificially are called magnetic substances. Iron, cobalt, nickel, steel or their alloys are examples of magnetic substances. The substances which are neither attracted by magnet nor can be converted into artificial magnets are called non-magnetic substances. Stones, chinaware, glass, wood, paper, brass, aluminium, mica, gold, silver, etc. are examples of non-magnetic substances. The end of a freely suspended magnet, which points towards the geographic north, is called North Pole of Magnet. The end of the freely suspended magnet, which points towards the geographic south, is called South Pole of Magnet. Like poles repel each other, and opposite poles attract each other. Repulsion is the surest and easiest test of magnetism. Attraction is possible in either of the cases. When two opposite poles of magnets are brought closer. When one pole of a magnet is brought near an unmagnetized bar of iron. A magnet which operates only when electric current flows around an iron, is called electromagnet. It can be made with the help of an iron nail, insulated copper wire, dry cell, and a sellotape. Wind the copper wire around the iron nail. Next, bear the ends of copper wire from insulation. Each end of the bare copper wire is fixed on the terminals of dry cell. Hold the copper wire at terminals with cello tape. 
when the above arrangement is brought near some iron paper clips, they cling to the wire, hence proving that iron nail changes to magnet when current flows around it. On removing the wire from the dry cell, the paper clips fall down. Hence, it can be concluded that the iron nail behaves like a magnet only as long as the current flows around it. 1. A magnet attracts magnetic substances like iron, steel, cobalt, nickel towards itself. 2. When suspended freely, it points in the north-south direction. 3. Similar poles of magnets repel each other. 4. Opposite poles of magnets attract each other. 5. When a bar magnet is rubbed over an unmagnetized piece of iron or steel, it changes into a magnet. 6. When a magnet is broken, each piece acts like a complete magnet. 7. A magnetic force can easily pass through non-magnetic substances. 8. If a magnet is heated or handled roughly, it loses its magnetism. If the magnet is left to itself over a long period of time, it loses its magnetism. To prevent demagnetization, the bar magnets are arranged in pairs, with opposite poles facing each other. Two soft iron bars, called magnetic keepers, are placed on either end of the pair of the magnets. This system forms a giant magnetic chain, which protects them from demagnetization. Electromagnets are used in a number of electrical devices, such as electric bells, telephone, telegraph, radio, transistor, television, loudspeaker. They are also used in fans, motors, mixers, room coolers, etc. Electromagnets are used for removing iron objects from scrap. They are also used in lifting heavy iron loads. Magnets are used in making magnetic stickers, in compass needles, and magnetic toys. Magnet has two important properties. One. It attracts small pieces of iron towards itself. This is called attractive force. 2. If it is suspended freely, it always points in the north-south direction. This property is called directive property. A material which occurs naturally and has magnetic properties is called natural magnet. A substance to which properties of natural magnet are imparted by artificial means is called artificial magnets. A magnet that loses its magnetism as soon as the cause producing them is removed are called temporary magnets. The magnets which do not lose their magnetism even when the cause producing them is removed are called permanent magnets. The substances which are strongly attracted by magnet or can be converted into magnet artificially are called magnetic substances. The substances which are neither attracted by magnet nor can be converted into artificial magnets are called non-magnetic substances. The end of the freely suspended magnet which points towards the geographic north, is called North Pole of Magnet. The end of the freely suspended magnet, which points towards the geographic south, is called South Pole of Magnet.
a magnet which operates only when electric current flows around iron is called electromagnet.